Good morning, I'm James Bissett, the Minister for Old High St Stephen's. Our reading today is from the first letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 5, reading from verses 1 through to 11. Now, brothers and sisters, about times and dates, we do not need to write to you, for you know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. While people are saying peace and safety, Destruction will come upon them suddenly as labour pains on a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. But you, brothers and sisters, are not in darkness, so that this day should surprise you like a thief. You are all children of the light and children of the day. We do not belong to the night or to the darkness. So then let us not be like others who are asleep. But let us be awake and sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk, get drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober, putting on faith and love as a breastplate, and the hope of salvation as a helmet. For God did not appoint us to suffer wrath, but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for us so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live together with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up just as in fact you are doing. Amen. And may God add his blessing to this reading from his holy word. Now, I have a, an awful lot of respect for anyone that works retail at this time of year. When I was at school, I did a Christmas job at Marks and Spencer's down in Dunfermline. And I was, I was working in the, the supermarket end of the store. Uh, and I was working there on Christmas, Christmas Eve in the morning. And when we opened the doors, a tidal wave of people came charging in to our part of the shop. And many of them went straight to the turkey aisle. Now... We had been stocking the freezers and we took those turkeys from the, the deep freeze upstairs, which I think was, it was about minus 25, so it's about 7 degrees colder than your, uh, your domestic freezer. And the guys that worked in there wore what looked like Arctic survival gear, you know, big thick down jackets, massive gloves. So we were taking the turkeys from there, putting them into these big hopper freezers in, in the supermarket. And people were going straight there and taking these turkeys out. Now, this Christmas Eve, they're taking these big, big turkeys out. And I was hearing people saying, you know, they were just going to take their turkey home and start defrosting. Well, there comes a point where it's not cooking, it's physics and thermodynamics. And there is absolutely no way in 24 hours, they were going to get enough heat into that bird to get it defrosted. It just can't be done. So, I tried to think how many cases of food poisoning there was in, uh, in Dunfermline that year. Uh, so, if you're, uh, if you're going to be buying a turkey, buy it early. And if you're going to defrost it, maybe start at defrosting about the 22nd, just to be sure. So eat safe and save me a mince pie.